Hello friends, my name is Salman and you are watching my channel Solid Tech. In this video series, I will discuss the option related to the uh, VMware vSphere data store. So, this is the second video of uh, this series. So, first of all, uh, what is uh, vSphere storage overview? Storage is in the virtual infrastructure is very critical because because all the VMs are stored on a storage and uh, if the storage is down all the VMs are goes down. So, uh, we uh, usually use the shared store. So, basically this is the overview of a storage. We have a uh, local storage. When we install any ESXi server the local hard drives uh, become the local storage of uh, vSphere server and the file system is VMFS. VMFS. And the other storage type is uh, uh, called NFS. NFS means uh, network file system or network file server. Basically, this storage can be created on any uh, network attached device like NAS or we also can create this type of share on Windows Server 2019 or earlier version of Windows. And other option of the uh, share storage is SAN. Basically, SAN is the block storage and we uh, in SAN we have two uh, version. One is called iSCSI SAN and so the second one is called Fiber Channel SAN. Other than that, we have a VMware Virtual Volumes option for the storage and finally, we have the vSAN storage option for storing our machine on our network. So, basically, first of all, we uh, identify the requirement of NFS server. Uh, if, we, if we are using a NAS, then in this case, I will uh, recommend you uh, go to the VMware website and check the compatibility of your NAS. Synology NAS is very compatible with the NFS server uh, with VMware ESXi server. Uh, but in my case, I will uh, explain the step by step procedure to create a NFS share on Windows Server 2019. So, I will create a share and export share to the ESXi server. After that, I will check the connectivity of my uh, both the machine, my ESXi server or my NFS server for uh, for uh, connectivity purpose. And uh, finally, I will uh, assign a port, uh, uh, VM kernel port to the, uh, to, to communicate with the NSF, NFS share on the server. Basically, what is uh, VM kernel port? VM kernel port is a special type port which uh, uses for special traffic like uh, vSAN or vMotion or DRS. So, this is the workflow of uh, this video. So, after uh, creating uh, the NFS share, uh, you need to connect your ESXi server with this uh, share. For this, you need to have NFS server IP address or domain name, NFS server uh, share name or full path name or Kerberos credential if you are using NFS version 4.1. So, let us move to the lab site. So, as you can see, I have, uh, this is the my uh, lab setup. I have a vCenter server on which I have two ESXi server. One is uh, 192.168.11.134 or other one is 138. So, uh, for creating an NFS share, I am using a Windows Server 2019. So, I will move to my Windows Server. This is my Windows machine I have created. So, uh, after installing a Windows Server, you need to have install a role which is called NFS role. For installing a, any role, you just search for Server Manager. So, you click on the Server Manager and top of the, that, you have an option called Manage. Click on the Manage button and there is a first option called Add Role and Feature. Select this one and select Next and role based and feature based installation select next and this is the, the uh, name of my server and this is its ip so select next and here you can see uh, i have an option file and storage services expand this uh, feature and as you can see uh, the second last one is called server for nfs so uh, click on this option and uh, installing the uh, additional feature which required for this role. So, I click add feature and again click next and again click next and install. So, in this way, uh, we enable the NFS feature of the uh, uh, on our Windows Server 2019 machine 
and after enabling this feature on this server now i have to create a share which is uh, publish uh, to uh, esxi server uh, which we want to connect and after we connecting this uh, as a data store we will move the, our local uh, vm from local data store to share data store so i will show you step by step how to uh, complete this task and finally i will show you how to uh, add any uh, virtual machine which is uh, reside in the uh, share data store in case your uh, server is uh, goes down uh, by some malfunctioning or you uh, corrupt your server so in new server you just uh, need to uh, uh, assign a, a machine to the new server by uh, taking some simple steps so i will show you in in the last in the last part of my video so i click on the close so here you now you can see i have an option called file and server storage click on this uh, option and here you, here we have uh, so many option so click on the share so as you can see there is no share because this uh, space is empty so click on the task and click on the new share so in this list you have an option second last option which is called nfs share quick select this one and click on the next now you have an option to mount any uh, volume if you like or you can uh, specify a custom path so i click on the custom path and browse and i browse on my uh, e drive and there is a folder which is i created earlier which is called nfs dash 1 and i click on the slack folder again i click on the next button so here i can give any uh, logical name uh, nfs dash 1 is the uh, logical name ha huh. here you can here this is the important step you should uh, copy this path because uh, when you map your uh, esxi server with this nas you need to have this path so i will copy this path and then click on the next and there is a option for capros authentication but uh, i am using the uh, vmf uh, vmfs version 3.0 which don't uh, offer the uh, authentication so i don't click any one so, and uh, no server authentication i click this one and also i click this one so after clicking that i click next and here you can add the uh, machines or the server which uh, you want to uh, give the access to this share so i click on the add here you can specify the host name or if you have multiple hosts you can uh, give their ip uh, by separating them using a, uh, a semicolon or colon so in in my case uh, in production environment you should uh, give the specific ips over here but in my case i select all machine so all the machines on the same subnet can access this uh, nfs share and here you can see the share permission is no access so i click on this and i give the retry so i so the client is able to write their data store or vms to this nfs share so i click on the add and again i click to the next and we go with the default permission and click to the next and then finally i click to the connect connect and close so now uh, what i did i have i have enabled the server role of nfs at nfs and after that i have created a share which is called nfs1 on my server so this this is the server side configuration now i will move to the my vmware sites so i will move i will access my vcenter server so in vcenter server uh, there is a machine which is called windows 7 as you can see uh, the detail of my machine uh, as we sh sh uh, scroll down you can see the storage is uh, reside on the local data store which is called uh, data store 1 so this machine is running from my uh, local data store when i will uh, create a, a shared data store i will move this uh, machine from this data store to another data store so for uh, adding a data store click on this icon which is called data stores and up on our data center right click and there is option which is called storage and then move to the new store data store so i click on to the new data store uh, here are, here we have a three option first option is uh, create a vmfs data store or local disk or any uh, san enabled disk uh, or uh, logical unit uh, number so i don't want 
to uh, create this one at this moment so the second option is nfs which is the, our uh, main topic create a nfs data store and nfs share on over the network so i have already uh, enabled this uh, share on my windows server 2019 so i select this one and click on the next and here here i can choose the version nfs3 and nfs4.1 keep remember take it uh, serious if you want to uh, map multiple uh, nodes uh, multiple hosts to the same data store don't mix nfs3 with nfs4 otherwise your data uh, store will be corrupted so i will select nfs3 and click to the next and here i have give the any uh, suitable name like when server nfs and then uh, the folder i have created i will paste it down so this is the uh, path of my uh, share which i created on windows server 2019 and after that i have created i have entered the ip address of my uh, windows 2019 machine and then i will click on the next it will ask you okay, how many host it, it will uh, map this uh, data store so i will uh, i have two hosts so i have uh, mapped all these hosts with this data store so i click on on the top check bar and click to the next and it then in finally it will give the uh, in total information like uh, name of the server type uh, nfs type version 3 server ip in share folder or access mode read and write and the host which is connected to this data store so i click on the finish so as you can see now and a new data store will be appear on my uh, inventory so this is the data store which i have created on my windows server 2000 19 machine now the second task is uh, that we can move our machine from local data store to uh, this shared data store for moving uh, any virtual machine from any data store is very simple you just uh, right click on any machine and there is an option which is called migrate so just click on that and there is a second option which is uh, change the storage only migrate the virtual machine storage to compatible data store or data store cluster so i select second radio button and click to the next so it will show the all the uh, mapped uh, uh, data store with this uh, uh, physical server esxi server so i select this one window server and then i will click the next and i click the finish so as soon as i click the finish uh, it will uh, try to move uh, this machine from this uh, local data store to uh, shared data store we can uh, monitor this progress of uh, this uh, process by going to the menu and go to the task so as you can see uh, the process is started migrating virtual machine and 30% 35% will be uh, covered so at this moment i pause the video and i will resume the video as soon as this uh, process will be finished so i will pause this video so as you can see now my uh, machine has been moved from my local data store to shared data store so this process is completed now i will move to my uh, home tab and again move to vms and templates so here, here you can see i have a windows 7 now i will show you the properties of windows 7 now i will check the data store so you can see now the data store has been changed and it now it is a win server nfs and this is the my machine so i will use so first of all i dis, uh, disconnect it and then i will i will click on launch console so this is the my working machine now user this is transparent for user whether it is running from local data store or from data uh, shared data store so you can see how easy it is to move uh, your virtual machine from uh, local data store to uh, shared data store so i will always recommend anyone if you have any uh, virtual machine in your environment which is local move to the uh, shared data store now i will show you very interesting things let's suppose your uh, server get got crashed so what will happen to your virtual machines so i will show you the situation in the vmware so 
for example i will remove this machine from here so it means your server is uh, goes down by any uh, mistake so i right click this and click on the remove inventory keep remember don't click on the delete from the disk otherwise your uh, machine will remove from the data store whether it is local or whether it is on shared data store so i will remove from the inventory and click yes now machine in my machine is go, uh, uh, goes down i don't know where is my machine so for example you uh, you are running your machine from some server and your server will be cra uh, have been crashed so uh, what will you do uh, the step for uh, uh, restoring your machine is very straight forward uh, first of all you install esxi server uh, on your any uh, new physical server and add them in your uh, vmware uh, inventory so we and add also uh, you should uh, in uh, add them in vcenter server so let's suppose we have entered my server in a vcenter server so as you can see i have two server you will add when you will add any server it will appear like this so after that you will uh, now you need to restore your virtual machine for this you need to go to the data store where your actual uh, machine will exist and right click on the uh, data store and there is an option register vm this is the very good option uh, click on this this and it will and expand this it will show you the all the virtual machine uh, in my case i have only windows 7 machine that's why i i am uh, giving a only windows 7 in your case you have uh, more than 10 or 12 or any any number of machine so in my case i click on the windows server windows 7 and it will automatically the uh, launch the related file which is used for uh, uh, creating inventory which is uh, vml vmx so vmx file is used to create the inventory in any uh, vcenter server so i click this and click okay after that it will ask you where you uh, where you want to publish this server so i click on this data store and then click on the next after that i will choose the server where i want to publish this uh, new vm so i click on my first server and click on the next and uh, finally i will click on the finish so i again i will go to my vms inventory and vms and expand this so now you can see now my windows 7 machine again appear i will click on this and i will power on and open a web console so uh, as you can see this is very simple steps you can easily recover your machine in case of your hardware failure from your uh, shared data store so as uh, i mentioned you what are the steps so in this way you can easily move your machine to and fro from one host to another fro host from one data store to another data store so this is the very simple and straight forward video if you like this video please uh, like my video and if you don't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel so i will uh, uh, making video like this in future so in the next video i will show you how to uh, configure the share storage of uh, related to iskazi iskazi also very uh, good option for creating a shared data store so i log in my server log in on my machine and now this machine is running from my shared data store so this is very good uh, its speed is very good so you can see it is now running from the network this is the folder of my name so this is the short video uh, related to how to create the nfs share you can also create the nfs share on the ubuntu server if i will get some time free time i will show you how to configure this uh, type of uh, configuration of nfs server on linux platform uh, so till then uh, take care and we will uh, meet in the new uh, video thank you very much